Welcome traders to another tick mill earnings season preview with me Patrick Lumley. Before we jump into today's report as always want to adhere to the risk disclaimer and most pertinent to today's presentation is the fact that views and opinions expressed by me are solely mine they're not indicative or representative of those held by tick mill UK or tick mill Europe limited. Okay let's jump into today's report and we are looking at Amazon. Amazon is set to announce earnings after the close of trade in New York this evening. The Consensus earnings per share is for 22 cents based on revenue of 126.4 billion. The company has guided for a 13 to 17% increase in sales to reach 125 to 130 billion and a uh, $3.5 billion operating income. Sales growth hasn't been an issue recently. Uh, but operating income has been tough to come by. Operating income has taken a significant hit since the pandemic heyday. The initial boost of pandemic spending, economic stimulus, and the increased online shopping have given way to unpleasant aftershocks. First, while the company initially benefited from the stimulus supporting the economy, the rise in wages and tight labour market eventually added billions in costs to the bottom line. This was prevalent in the mid to late 2021 and continues to be an issue going forward. Next, we have logistical issues that have plagued the supply chain for much of the 2021 period, and those challenges have remained in place throughout 2022. This adds cost to an already tight retail margin. This also contributes to inflation globally and in the US. We all know that inflation is having costs for fuel and, well, just about everything else. The strong dollar has put massive dents in international results. Sales in this segment were down 12% uh, for the Q2 year over year, but only 1% when adjusted for foreign currency exchange. Operating income fell to $362 billion to a month, uh, $362 million uh, gain, sorry, to a monster $1.8 billion loss last quarter. Management has done an admirable job of execution in this challenging environment. Through the first half of 2022, the gross margin has fallen slightly over 1%. In fact, the most significant expense increase isn't in fulfillment, as you want, one might expect. Spending on technology and content has risen the most through the first half of 2022. Amazon's web services, the largest cloud services provider on earth, is Amazon's cash cow and has been the lone consistent profit center lately. The segment produced 19.7 billion in sales last quarter and 5.7 billion in operating income. Amazon reported a $79 billion run rate of annualized sales for web services last quarter and total sales will likely eclipse 80 billion this year. Amazon's cloud business consistently posts operating margins near 30%. Okay, let's take a look at some of the uh, statistical trading patterns around the Amazon earnings release. Amazon shares have moved lower in the immediate aftermath of earnings eight out of the last 12 reports. On average, stock has moved down 0.4% on the first day of trading after announcing. Based on the previous 12 earnings releases, Amazon is more likely to trade lower one day after earnings for an average loss of 0.3%. On average, though, the stock has moved higher by 1% one week after earnings. From a volatility perspective, what can we expect? Well, the options market is pricing in a 7.3% move on earnings. Stock has actually averaged a 6.2% move in recent quarters. From a flow and sentiment perspective, well, we have 20,681 contracts of the $120 call expiring on Friday. So some bullish sentiment there in the near term, at least. Although option order flow sentiment in general has been bearish in line with the market sentiment. The Amazon share price has drifted down 14.3% post its prior earnings announcement. Using the last 12 quarters of data, the average drift between earnings is about 4.3% up or down. Let's pull up the Amazon chart and see if we can identify uh, any near-term trading opportunities. Well, from a technical perspective, my bullish or bearish line in the sand at the moment is this uh, $112 level. Whilst we're trading above there, and we are currently sitting on the uh, high volume node here on the four hour chart, 115, I'd be looking for any move back through the 120, 120s to engage on the long side Initially targeting a move up into the 123 handle. Then we have this 126 uh, gap fill zone here. And so that will be the next logical uh, target for me on the upside. If we can get through there, we then look for monthly range resistance just below 130. 
Uh, we have a 130.83 technical upside objective, and then we have another gap just above there coming in at uh, the 135 level. So those are my upside targets if we can hold this 112 on the downside. If we take out the 112 on the downside, then I'm bearish and I'm looking for a move back into test price cycle lows, 105. If we take out that 105, we've got the yearly S3 here on the weekly chart at 99.59. And if we get a close below there on a weekly basis, I would then be looking for a move down to test the 84.38 uh, level as the next downside objective. But for now, like I say, constructive above 112, and we're looking for those mid 120s, 130, and then mid 130s as the technical upside objectives. As always, traders, plan the trade, trade the plan, and most importantly, I'm enjoying this. Until next time, thanks very much.